These are tempered squash. Tom, is that uh, gum Arabic? Is that gum yes, Arabic? From, yeah. that you talked about? Yeah. That's one that, that's the little creek down in the town where I live, and uh, it feeds into uh, the uh, Westacon Creek, and um, that's the one that will be in, I have to do a few more details, but that's the one in the Art Patron Show. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, wow. Let me sign up real quick. Wow. <laughs> So, as you can see, I have all my china. We'll have something to eat any minute. All right. Can everybody see the back? Yes. All right, stand up to you. So, this is the piece I'll do. Now, you'll see. Let me just pull this. Watch your head when you stand up, Tom. Okay. I probably won't stand up, but just in case I do, I'll know. So uh, sometimes you can do a scene where it's kind of like a, a, a more intimate scene as opposed to, you know, a big uh, vista uh, landscape, type landscape. Uh, you can do something a little more uh, intimate. I'm still putting dishes out. But I'll use, I'll burn them right up, and that's why I wish I had more. Uh, but, uh, so I make uh, sketches. I made sketches of this particular scene. And then uh, I made a color study. And so I'll work from that study. Now I use different size brushes. Uh, I use these. Oops. And then I use some flats. I use the filbert. Uh, if I want a softer edge, sharper edge with the flats, uh, big brushes for big areas, and, and it goes down. Then I use some rounds if I'm going into the sky, sometimes a filbert or a flat, and then a filbert that's maybe a little fatter, see, a little thicker. Then I have brushes that I use for trees. I even use sometimes the toothbrush. And the reason I mention all of that, and then I get down to the tiny little brush uh, for the detail. So whatever it fits, that's what I use. I know I see some that you have a brush this wide and they paint the whole painting with that. And that's good, uh, but I use whatever it fits. If, if I have a big area I want to paint, I use a big brush, a small area, small brush. So that's the way I've worked it for 43 years. So yeah, so far it has worked. It may fail tonight, but it, it worked for 43 years. So let's see, we're going to get some paint on here, on this. Now I'm going to put a little watercolor in this particular red because the primary red that the gouache has, I didn't care for. So I'm going to change that up a little. Uh, I want a nice uh, kind of a barn red. That's what I'm going to do here. Now see, I have the, the primary red, but it's a little purpley pinkish type. But I'll use some of it. I, but I don't want too much. Now, I probably will wind up standing up and hitting my head. But <laughs> that's okay. Well worn. So let's see what happens. Now we're going to start putting paint on the paper. Let me get a few more colors. Does the gouache not come in as many colors as, say, watercolor? Uh, it comes in most, I would say, 90% of them. But not every one is good. Now we have the the difference between like some people think it's acrylic. It's like acrylic. The only, the difference between it and acrylic. Acrylic when it dries turns to like what it is. It's an acrylic. It's plastic. This does not. This is always water soluble, so you can't get it wet if you finish it. It's like a watercolor, right? It'll get messed up. So it stays soluble on your palette as long as you keep it. Of course, I throw it all away. But anyway, let's get, and try not to have paint on your brush when you, make sure it's clean when you put it away. I didn't. So I'll get a little of this, and I'm not that crazy about that red either. But anyway, get some red. Now, 
the thing that you do, the difference with uh, gouache, we use white, I guess, in acrylic too, because I know I've done a lot of acrylic, but um, we use the poster white for mixing and then the gouache white for getting the white highlights <coughs> that you may need because it's more opaque. The difference between the uh, that and say watercolor, because it's like a watercolor. The difference is that the gouache is very um, coarsely ground, that tempera. The watercolor is finely ground, so it absorbs into the paper more, whereas the gouache lays on the surface, the tempera, and that's why they can do that. It has more opaqueness to it. So that's one thing that uh, is one of the different main differences. So if I see, I'm not that crazy about that color. But anyway, we're going to go with it because if I don't, we won't have a painting. So we'll just, so this is for mixing, remember, and that's for the opaque, the dreaded white. So we're not supposed to use it. Somebody said that. I think it was in a book somewhere. I saw it. Somebody wrote a book. I don't know who it was. But anyway, but they forgot to tell me because if it's in, if it's at the art store, I buy it. I'll use a knife. I'll use whatever I can to make a picture. The picture is what counts. So we'll get some of this and we'll start putting this in. Okay, we'll just start putting this on and have a nice old barn. And we'll see what that barn's going to look like. And we'll put a little white. Let's put it like a little white should go there, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> this will make a little gray down here. Now your grays, by the way, those <coughs> little bit of shakes that you might see sometimes. Some people know what happens. That's an old, what do they say? That's a famous thing. An old war injury. I was shot once. And <laughs> I have a problem, so I get shaky sometimes. Yeah. I was shot up pretty bad once, one time, but it only takes once. Well, anyway, you can, with the, with this opaque, um, I think it's a, a, you know, you just go ahead and, and just put it on, you know, just any old way you can get it on, and then we're covering some parts of it. But that's okay because we can we can do something with that. Maybe something happened over here. Paul likes when I say that. <laughs> something happened over here. Somebody dropped something, here. and that's what happened. Let's let's give it a little direction. I noticed that you're not picking up going into the water like you would with watercolor. Yes.